Hi, this is Eric for Otoy. In this video, we're going to talk about combining environment lighting with visible environment lighting so that you can kind of get the best of both worlds. The scene that I'm using is the Space Gas Station 01 scene. And I'm going to turn off the gamma correction up here and set renderer to octane render. And let's open up the render settings. I'm going to go down to the environment section and choose create new. And in the attribute editor, I'm going to set this to daylight environment. And let's set the daylight type to daylight system. And I'll create kind of a nice sort of evening style lighting, something like that. Now, if you take a look at the render settings, you'll notice that below the environment drop down menu, we have visible environment. Now, obviously, we can see this environment already in our scene. But let's say we wanted to use an HDRI image to change the look of the sky as well as the reflections on the objects. You could do that by adding a texture into the sky texture, but a better way to do that is to actually create a second node for the visible environment using this menu. So I'm going to choose Create New. It's going to create a texture environment. We don't see much of a change yet. Uh, if I go down to the in the attribute editor for Octane Sun Sky 2, so this is our visible environment, go down to visible environment, I'm going to turn on backplate reflections and refractions. So what we're seeing right now is a white texture is coloring the sky and the reflections, but we can also see our sunlight in there as well from our daylight system. Uh, that's not exactly what we want. We want to have something that looks a little bit nicer than that. So I'm going to scroll up to the attribute editor and under texture environment, I'm going to click texture and bring over the create render node window and let's do octane image texture and then i'm going to use this folder icon to open up our source images folder and choose our image and it's still looking rather odd because we've got to adjust the gamma on this so in the attribute editor for that image node let's set the gamma to one and I'll set the power to like 1.5 just to make it a little bit brighter. And as I've done before, I'm going to create a spherical projection node. And then in the spherical projection node under transform, I'm going to attach the uh, octane rotation transform. And let's use this field to adjust the position. Let's see, maybe 9 is 90. Minus 150, that's kind of dramatic. So now what we can do is I'm going to go into the render settings, click on the arrow icon next to Octane Sun Sky 1. So that's our sunlight. And what I can do now is I can go in here and adjust the hour and the other settings to change the position of the sun. So this looks rather odd because right now the sun is not matching our sky. Uh, but we can sit here and just kind of play with maybe the hour, let's get that a little bit later, and maybe the north offset. Uh, what we can do right here is I'm going to set this to not connected for the moment just so I can see my sun a little bit better. So I kind of want the sun like around here. So let's just adjust this a little bit. Like that. And maybe bring it down a little bit. Something like that. Then go back in our render settings, set visible environment back to Octane Sun Sky 2. And there we go. Now we're getting a little bit closer. That looks kind of nice. So you can kind of continue to adjust it until they match a little bit better. But that's the basic idea of combining the uh, environment node with the visible environment. I think the most important thing to remember on the visible environment is that you turn on backplate reflections and refractions so that you can actually see the environment uh, reflected in the surfaces and also in the backplate. 
Of course, you can turn these on or off selectively depending on what you're trying to do. So there you can see it in the reflections. If we turn reflections off, you no longer see it there, but it is in the back plate and in the refractions, etc. There's not a whole lot of refractive surfaces in the scene, so that one is going to be a little bit less important. But uh, there you have it. That's uh, some creating some nice environments uh, fairly easily.